Damn, just leaves. Okay. Oh, now I'm connecting them to the car network. She was floating back there on the bed, you see that? But we gotta take Mama's body to the tar pit or the incinerator, right? Wait, the incinerator's so fucking far away. I'm not even in this map, this map section. Oh damn. Okay, we're almost there. Species and void oats. Stabilizer. Oh, does that make it so I don't like, uh, you know, stumble as much? Obviously, stabilizer. Someone's making pizza in my apartment complex. Sis? It smells delicious. I can hear you. We're whole again. Oh, what the fuck are eyes? Like before in the womb, remember? Lincoln. Hockman. Die hard man, get the fuck out of here! I almost hit my glass. Thanks to you, Edge Nut City is finally within reach. <laughs> and you, Lockman, Die Hardman, don't give a fuck. <laughs> your work will help ensure that the Cairo network remains online. Together we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam, there's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but Mama saw the languages, it. Oh, the names, and terms we picked out, the munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years That's what I'm ago. saying, dude. It was like World, World War One. Yep. To be precise. Look at that. It I know my history. It wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, Maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. Mads Mikkelsen was there, though. I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Mads, Perhaps Hart can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches Hartman. are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the Cairo network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. Okay, what happens uh, now? Oh, they're just sending me to my room. I got grounded. What are we gonna do about with Mama's body then? She's gonna cause a void out. You just can't, like, burn someone's body over a campfire. Incinerator is like a couple hundred degrees or so. Actually, it's like a couple thousand, isn't it? That's some wild shit. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Okay, well, can't really help it when you take blood from me. You always do that. Oh boy, what's this? Aaron Hill, Mama of the Fallen Angel. Excuse me. Mountain Hot City is now part of the UCA. Long, uh, explained about how it was all big misunderstanding. What a relief. The tar's all gone too, thanks to that bomb. What? Oh, the bomb I threw in the tar pit, maybe? This is gonna sound weird, but you know the odor deck that my mom's left shoulder? Didn't used to think much of it, but someone told me it was a symbol of her atonement. She did betray Lochna after all, even if terrorism might have been to blame. Couldn't help but think of herself as a fallen angel after that. Forever barred from joining Loch Nahn Heaven. Like, uh... Oh, wow. That's a name. Abbas Debu, The one-winged fellow who followed Beelzebub down to Egypt once upon a time. To cause trouble for Moses. Guess Mama was feeling poetic when she redesigned her Odra deck. And used it to comfort her dead child. Strange. Maybe 
I suppose she was already dead herself. Looks like all that's in like that's all in the past though. The misunderstanding's been resolved and the sisters are whole again thanks to you, Sam. Mama finally worked up the courage to cut the core and send her baby to the other side where it belongs. It was the right thing to do for the kid. How do you know? How do we know what what happened with that kid? We for all we know, we could have just disintegrated the existence of that kid. And it also was the reason why Mama died. Yeah. You killed Mama? She wanted to. She's like, okay, so what you missed, Ella, because you were at work, but uh, she gave us the uh, new cuffs, and then she integrated a cord cutter for BTs. Well, she had a BT baby attached to her, and she's like, all right, let's test it out. Cut the cord between us. So I did it. I cut it. And then she's like, okay, now the BT baby's on the other side, back where it belongs. And Mama's like, all right, now take me to my sister, since I can now leave this place and I'm not being here by this BT baby. So I take her here. She sees her sister for like 30 seconds, dies. And then after she dies, she like conjoined with her sister. So their eyes were different. Uh, Lachna's eyes are different colors. One is Mama's color and the other one's Lachna's color. So I don't know. It is way complex, because they were like conjoined twins in the womb. And the surgery was successful separating them. And they always had like the ability to know the each other's thoughts and stuff like that. But now, when Mama dies, she rejoined her sister. Holy shit. Complex. <laughs> uh, so the two are one, and the fallen angel got a second chance just as well, because no one's ever really been on redemption, I'd like to think. So yeah, Mama died, and she's now part of Lachna, which was her sister, which now the two are now one. Oh god, here's a cyberpunk thing. Your partner, Jay, you're not going to believe this, Sam, but the Porter at Harriet's smart-ass tomb found two chips, but by the time I nailed down the location on the second, it's been snatched by terrorists. Eh, should have figured it out sooner. I thought I'd mastered your systems, you know? Took my half the ball for a sec. Fuck. Probably about the trip back to the base already, too. Gotta get it back, Sam. These chips are only my only chance. Get your ass to the district center north of Malinot City to grab that order. Okay. I'll do that because the Cyberpunk missions, I like it. I like getting the Cyberpunk stuff. I love the Cyberpunk game. I'm excited for the new expansion that's gonna come out for the new Cyber or for Cyberpunk. I look forward to playing through the all Cyberpunk again. I might even do it on stream, but I don't know. See, I love playing I love streaming because I play through I focus on single player games and I play through a lot of games that I maybe not uh, like have time for. I can't leave the fucking room. Hello? I can't leave. Oh, I need to check on baby. Well, yeah, streaming single player games. Wait, what what the fuck? Baby's gone. Lou? Lou? How did I know that name? Ooh. Looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. You son of a bitch. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. Dead Man, episode 6. Oh shit. Prison. <laughs> I was like, dude, I can't get out. Usually I can you may get out. recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, sir. Interesting. So the little guy is bonding to me. Yeah. <laughs> partners. Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. It's a fucking human Bridge, being, yes, dude. It's a baby, fucking baby. No. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. 
Yeah, because it is a child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Okay. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment. To put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. Kinda of fucked up, right? But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <laughs> of course! One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Yeah, but he'll forget me. Uh, I'm right, telling you, it's like a me, game. Right? Just select me and try. Get started. Again. Stop touching the fucking BB. God damn it. Uh, what's his name? Dead man? Oh. Oh. <laughs> And this is why I hate these things. <laughs> and what the fuck was that? <laughs> Sam. I was already filthy from my trip through the beach. But now your BB has added insult to injury. <laughs> Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil? Why did he just do that? That was pretty easy to catch. Where he did the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. You taking a shower in there? With your clothes on? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Why is he just standing <laughs> What is he doing? I'm gonna. <laughs> can I take a shower with him? <laughs> Why was he standing in? Wait, why am I standing in here now? What the fuck is happening? Shh. No one can spy on us in here. Oh. It's just you and me. Okay. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BB experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government, following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret, on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? That's so way essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. Getting a little too close, man. Bad but none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name. Or his face. Why is he getting close like that? Stop doing that. Since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Brian, sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. 
As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the Cairo Network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. So now we're wearing sopping wet clothes. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. <laughs> the squeaking. <laughs> Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. What? I'd never manage without your help. Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. Okay. When you're ready, of course. That was that was strange. <laughs> Sorry, I was sending you guys some messages and I was trying to pay attention to that. Um Next time you play my favorite game, single player game, PoE. Hell no. Not until PoE two comes out, because P the first PoE, I, I just get so dis. What's the word? Disappointed, playing through the entire story every time. I don't know. If I could just do the end game stuff without having to go through the story, it might be fun though. Uh, it's a boy. Yeah, one BB. He wants to show you with him. He's a man in love. Leave him alone now. Kiss. <laughs> he doesn't help that Sam hates being touched. True. He's got like the phobia of being touched. So when. <laughs> When he was in the shower with him, I was like, dude, why do you gotta be so close? It's fine, we got space in here that's blacked out. They won't see. Michael's an in love board. That's what a bad gamer would say. Bad gamer. I just don't want to grind the same story over and over again. Like, I, I want to get to the end game kind of thing. Uh, okay, I don't have anything new here. So I think we're good. Yep, I already drank the monster. Any new figurines in the back? Doesn't look like it. There's figurines on the table, though. Oh, that's what I just did. Okay, maybe they show the new figures on the table. That's what I just did. I just spit on my keyboard again. Uh, where... Oh, it even shows me carrying Mama on the back, too. Oh, that's just what I did to get here. Well, first thing I did before I started walking here. Okay, I think we're good to leave now. It's not a prison anymore. No BB. Wait, so how do I get BB back then? He's gonna have to fragile jump with BB, right? Alright, what's his main name? Dead man? Take on a new order from for Sam and Mountain Not City. Make B I that would buy fast. Make BB feel better by connecting up nearby facilities with your Cupid to increase Cairo density. Okay, that was the last one. I know I need to go to the distro center north of here for the cyberpunk that mission. tells me your BB isn't performing to spec. We'll have to put your primary mission on hold until we restore its functionality. Yep. It's our only Dooms compatible unit. And you're going to have to deal with more BTs as you head further west. Case in point, Emily's informed us of a tar belt outside of Edge. Dude, this guy City. says her name different every time. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. Of course Higgs did. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, you'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. Yeah, that's so not your first priority BB. is to help Deadman restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sam, I'm a little busy at the moment. So I hope you don't mind if we stick to Hollow. First, I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the okay. connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BB's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. 
keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the chiral network anyway. I already integrated it though. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You'll have to earn their trust bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. Yeah. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. Yes. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Yeah, because Sam can, can, he can detect the BTs without BB, but he can't see them. That was explained in the beginning of the game. Oh man, I hear, I heard hell's pretty cold these days. Well, if you've played God of War, hell is the coldest place. It's Hellheim that I'm thinking of. It's literally extremely cold. Um, okay, so I can do these two. 31 and 50. I think I'll do one, come back, and do the other. Do this one, come back, and grab the other one, and go back. Alright, Sammy, go listen for those soundtrack changes for BTs. <laughs> That's accurate. Yeah, hell on. Um, yep, exactly. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, we'll go to the doctor. I was gonna say something, but I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, I have two climbing gears and two ladders. Really, I need to get new boots, because the one I'm having here is like 50%, and I like to be on top of things, so. Um, what was I thinking? I was thinking, uh, wow, it's already 8 o'clock. Holy shit. <laughs> Time flies by when I stream. I love it. Or, uh, I love streaming, but the time flies by so fast. I don't need a garage. Uh, I was thinking of what game I'm going to play next. Put on footwear. And I have quite a bit of games to play. I don't know what to do with Oh, these are level 3 Bridges boots. Oh, shit. No wonder they lasted so long. Chainley's likes to be on top. <laughs> okay. What kind of things do you like to be on top of? Uh, homework for my classes so I can graduate in time is the innocent answer. I don't know what to do. I'm going to put these in my private locker. They're level three, so. <laughs> okay. Just straight out with the fucking. <laughs> Order assigned. Oh yeah, I need to put my, my hat and my Johnny sunglasses on. There we go. Okay. So, can you guys see my mouse on the screen? Okay, that's just me. I don't know why my mouse like, randomly starts appearing. So I need to get over here, though, which is literally over a mountain. Shit. Well, uh, pre-roll ads are on. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a break, though, to disable these pre-roll ads, because I really don't want new people coming in and be hit with those. So we will be back shortly. Take a stretch. Use the bathroom, get some drinks, and we'll be back shortly with some more Death Stranding. Thank you. And we'll be back real shortly. Play some music as well.
for me to let go But I think that I'm finally feeling good again So hard cause I love you But I'm finally feeling like myself All of the wounds that were open by you I'm now closing I finally know how to live without hurting myself I think that I am moving on cause I do feel less broken I needed a sign, this is a sign that I'm healing I'm finally healing from you I'm finally Alright, we're back. We are back. Okay, so... This is gonna be climbing, like, literally over a mountain, right? Um... Recommended lap, ladder, rope, and bridge. I don't know about the bridge. Excuse me. Drink a lot of water, <laughs> and I think I drank it too fast. So I got a little burpy. Shit. Uh, okay, what do I have on me right now? Medical supplies I need. So I got one ladder and one climbing anchor. Oh, with a thousand bits. Why are you giving me bits? <laughs> you don't need to give me bits. I greatly appreciate it, though. I really do. Now I lost my train of thought of what I was trying to figure out. <laughs> um, I don't know, I had some bits. You had some bits? That's a thousand bits. How do you just have a thousand bits just like that? Um... I think I'm gonna do another. Should I just do another ladder and an anchor? Just to be safe. Because I can carry a bunch of these power legs. So, another one of these, another one of these. I don't think I need to worry about anything else. So, we're good there. I give biddies to all the cute boys. I think I bought a whole bunch to give to you when I was drinking. Oh, yeah, then I'll explain it. <laughs> That'll do it. Just like when I was, when we were watching, or when I was watching your stream with, uh, I don't remember who it was on your channel, but, uh, we, we just kept giving bits back and forth. It's like, I ain't gonna be outbitted. Okay. Oh, this doesn't look too bad. I thought it was gonna be more of a mountain. Oh, what the fuck? Sam? Oh. You read me? Lock me. Um, Lachna? Uh-huh. Lachna? Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. Okay. We're all again. One. Forever and always. We still speak, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting up to speed. You back with bridges then? It's not about that. It never was. It's about what she wants. What we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. We're all connected now. You're getting a little spooky. You and Jimmy. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Thank you so much. What? Who just said that? Thank you. Thank you. Kindly. 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 